This weekend, an event took place in Lexington that aimed at bringing awareness to mental health and suicide. Riley Hege is here in studio with us now to tell us more about this event. Thank you, Grant. This event was an emotional experience, as you can imagine. I spoke to staff and participants who shared personal stories and the importance of breaking the stigma. Here's more. I wonder how many people have heard about this or seen this and thought, not today, I'm not going to end it today. On Saturday morning, hundreds of people gathered at the suicide prevention walkout with one goal, to raise awareness. For many, it's about breaking the silence and offering support to one another. Jacob McCullough stresses the importance of sharing personal experiences to let others know they are not alone. People come back usually year to year um, and um, they really are helpful. They are encouraged and they find hope in being here. So that just helps um, the mental health aspect. Participants spoke about the need to check in on those around us, especially the younger generation, and to create an open dialogue about mental health. That it's a part of our responsibility too, to check on people, ask them how they're doing, ask them if there's something bothering them, and then just don't wait for them necessarily, but to, to try to be open about it and see if you can uncover something. For many, this event was very personal. Allie Buchanan shared how about being open with her own struggles has helped others find support and seek help. And for me personally, just being very open about my own personal struggles, making sure that, you know, just because I might look like I have it all put together, there are things that I go through. I'm talking openly about those things, having trusted people around me who, who know what to look for and know what signs to see in me um, when I'm going through struggles and then just sharing. And um, we share with everyone we come in contact with our story. And I think that's the number one thing that we can do and about all we can do um, to help is to share our own stories. The message it was clear. Sharing our stories and supporting one another can make a real difference. With Wildcat News, I'm Riley Hagee. Over $30,000 was raised in support of this cause and donations will continue to be accepted up until December 31st.